Tonight, a little video about the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. I'm in a 2020. It's my wife's car that I'm sitting in. And some news came out yesterday about rear heated seats. Now, it's a little weird because it's February 16th now. And, uh, well, about two-thirds through winter. So it would have been nice if Tesla pushed this out a little earlier because it started hearing that this was going to happen way back in, I think it was December. But anyhow, it's here now. So I'm going to give it a try. And uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's start with focusing over here on this screen and click on software and you'll see it pulls from wi-fi i'm on wi-fi right now and it says car is up to date and we have premium connectivity fine now on my phone don't look too carefully at those icons actually i'm going to show you something at the end here um, about the seat heaters but stay tuned to the very end for that all right so what do we have to do here well it's actually an older phone. Depends on your resolution. You might need to scroll down a little to see your upgrades button. Okay, let's make sure we have focus now. There we go. And we've got rear heated seats. Pretty obvious uh, how to do the purchase. Okay, I actually um, would prefer to pay with a credit card that's on file at tesla.com. But that's not going to work for Apple Pay, because Apple Pay, I have um, a different card. So I kind of need to think about this. All set. Here are your seats. When your car is in park and on Wi-Fi, you get this feature, and it may take a while. Okay. Notice the car screen just went blank. And the feature went away from here. So it seems like it triggered a reboot. Now if we click on the fan menu. Okay, let's turn off Bluetooth connection there. All right, the reboot's done. Go in the fan menu, go to the seat heaters. <laughs> oh, and there they are. So this is instant. Awesome. Yeah, less than a minute, whatever it took to do a reboot. So that went very well. So remember I told you it was gonna be a little surprise at the end. Well, let's get focus going here. Let's start up the FLIR thermal camera. Yes, we're gonna actually see how this looks. So I'm gonna start with See if we can turn off the seat heater here. All right, so we've got the passenger seat on right now. Oh, uh, I guess it's going to keep turning on, but I got a little pal mic. Hopefully, you're not hearing too much. So, passenger on full crank. So, that means if I aim this over at the passenger seat, you should be able to see what kind of temperatures we're talking about there. Aim it at the seat, and you're seeing the heating coils. Okay. Looks like it hits about 100 Fahrenheit, just shy of it, at the very hottest spot. And that's been on for a while. Let's see the shape of that. Goes right up the back. There you go. 101. Okay. You know what it's time for. It's time to turn on the rear seat heater. So, back to fan. And then the number of bacons. And let's see what kind of temperatures we get. Swing the camera around. Get the FLIR thermal camera out. And here we go. So this seat over here, staying at 60, 61 Fahrenheit. Middle seat seems to have heat somehow, even with the armrest there. And underneath, very impressive how fast this is going. My goodness. All right, so, uh, okay, it's not quite as fast as I was first thinking, but clearly the coils are working already. You can see the exact shape and outline, and you can see it pretty well covers the whole bottom surface. And you can also see the metal passenger has it pretty cushy there. Hopefully focus came uh, cooperated for you here. That metal seat goes right to the front edge. 
just like that seat. So they don't really have, you know, second class experience other than a little less comfort. And now you're just seeing um, a recalibration of the FLIR camera. That's what it does. Obviously that other seat not on. So I'm not really sure what's going on with the armrest. It looks like there might be a little bit of heat poking out, but I think that's um, inconsequential right there. Let's see what that hits. 70. Oh, there's something going on there. Um, and unfortunately it's kind of occluding the digits when I go to the warmer spot. Okay, so the seat back for the middle passenger is probably not very impressive, but um, the seat back for this passenger is now up to 79. So I don't know, in two minutes or so, we're up to near, well, well beyond the uh, temperature of the surface that we started at. So we've gone up 20 degrees. It's on my climate. There we go. We've got all our seat heater controls right there in the app as well. And we can of course turn on the other seat. We can turn them all to full if we want. Oh, it's about one minute later. Let's go back to the FLIR thermal camera and have one more look at the temperature without my hand in the way there. And see if we can get a read on that. Okay, 92 something on the back. 100, 101, 102. So at full temperatures, after I'd say about four minutes, this second clip is recorded right after the first. Um, nothing too uh, significant in there. And you can see the other seat now cranking right up to, to join it. It's pretty cool, all right? Thank you again for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com forward slash Tesla. Uh, leave your comments below the video. Also consider visiting the rest of the channel videos found at bit.ly, so bit.ly slash Tesla vids. Thank you again.